when I was growing up, Spring Break was kind of like Redneck Riviera style, get in a car, just drive to Daytona Beach, and for like a week or five days, you just, 10 people in a motel, destroying everything, puking on each other, having sex, and you know, snorting donuts, and then they get back in their car, drive home, and pretend like it never happened, go back to school, and everything. Spring Break, bitches! The movie is meant to be almost more like a drug experience, or something that was more like, physical and, and, and hallucinatory, like a pop poem or something. So in the middle of the film, like at, at its core, it's something linear, but around all the edges, it's a kind of more of like a liquid narrative and energy. We looked all over Florida, trying to figure out where to do it, and we looked at everywhere, Miami. Miami was great, but it was too big. It was too like, almost like corporatized and stuff. And then Panama City was like, you know, MTV, uh, you know, spring break world reality, but I like St. Petersburg because it had that, but it was also kind of old Florida. The strip malls had character, it's kind of isolated and, and still a little bit strange. Gucci Man, I was just like one of my favorite rappers and been listening to him for a long time. And actually, the first time I talked to him, he was in he was in jail, and I I uh, called him with his manager, coach, and I was just like, man, if you could stay out of trouble and don't reoffend, I have this part for you I want to play. He hasn't been back to jail since. When you're working with non-actors, you're setting up sequences which just that are kind of like, you know, kind of real se sequences. It's like an energy. It's like you create this kind of a, a world and, and you put different chemicals in and, and document the explosion, you know. So a lot of it is like, you know, in those sequences where they're partying and stuff and it, it's just thousands of kids in empty hotels destroying the place and it's chaos, which is impossible to control. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's wild. I've always just been driven by the idea of making a very specific type of, of a film, something that is like pure energy. And like, so I take the stance where I am a kind of soldier of cinema and just trying to do the right thing and be on the side of righteousness. And so I know in my heart that what I need to do, and I know that nothing can stop me. I never really cared that much about seeking people's approval for things like it didn't matter to me so much if you love something that I did or if you just liked it I mean obviously I want to entertain and I want to bring joy and I want people to love what I'm doing but in the end like I have a purpose beyond that all I ever wanted to be was was bold and to just try things and even if they don't work if it's an experiment and, or you're trying something and it doesn't work and people don't like it and it's not so what like, why does everything have to work all the time like there's merit and beauty and failure. So um, I think, I don't know, that's always how I've lived my life. <laughs>